Hey, welcome to day 43. We are looking at the last couple of requests. Starting with this one, which is another one of those elegant experiments. This one's an extended version um, where we need to defeat 12 enemies in a single short time, as opposed to what we did before, where at, I believe it was eight enemies. Um, so seeing that the number is slightly higher, right? Um, right off the bat, there is one specific location which we can head to, and that is actually in Osaka Jail, um, where if you remember, uh, there were a crap load um, of, of those Nagas, right? And, uh, you know, we, we basically pushed them aside, almost even ran over them in that battle with a bunch of cards, which were available, right? Via the move command. So, you know, obviously this time around, we're not going to be doing it using cards because we need to do a showtime. And what I'm doing right now is ensuring that we have, you know, some of these soulful jelly, or I should say soulful jellies. Um, and of course you can actually get multiple ones like this one right here. The Hotspots Osaka, it, this probably increases your showtime gauge by a little bit. Um, whereas this is really um, what you want. Especially if you're at a decent level at this point in the game. Where, you know, um, you actually do have access to these types of items. So we're going to be using this there. Um, and basically, another thing too we could do is ensure that we have, I guess, no one but Joker. So that way we kind of rule out enemies being defeated outside of the the Showtime um, gauge usage. And where did we see them? Well, should have been this one, right? Where it was right before this part where we were headed towards the airship to Georgia Station. So the part before it is where we had last saved prior to that, where there were, in fact, a bunch of carts on that map, right? So let's hope we run into a bunch of shadows here. And of course, as you can see on the map, there's plenty of them. Um, I would say it's probably more on the eastern side or maybe not that doesn't look like it i feel like it could be these these guys right here right you you do have a crap ton of carts here which you could use and so with that being said what i'm going to do is increase the showtime gauge I'm not sure if I if I hit that right there. No, we're still gonna have to do at least two more of those, right? That should do it. So we are maxed out as far as showtime gauge is concerned. So let's see if we can get this guy. who is patrolling the area a good bit. All right, let's see if we can do this. So we want to see if there's a handful of Nagas here, which there are. So let's go ahead and try this. And I hope that's at least 12. It does look like it. There's a good number of them. And there you go. As simple as that. Um, and actually, we should probably just try to... Uh, we don't want to die, right? I guess instead of running away, let's just go ahead and... 
hit him with a few Garu based skills. I mean, they shouldn't be too difficult to defeat. We can also utilize some of these carts and kind of go crazy. If I can turn this thing. No, it's difficult. But, uh. Either way. And with that, we should be done with that request. So again, you know, if you watched the previous episode where we did the first version of this request, right, where it wasn't the extended one, you had to defeat eight enemies, and we went to that Viscid Rotting Meat back in, I believe it was Sendai, you could probably still do that one. Um, although you, you'd probably have to wait a little bit for more of those slime to appear. Right? Whereas with this one, the Nagas are pretty much right there as soon as you get into the fight. Plus, they're very close to that checkpoint. Hence, we went, we went for that route. And with this reward, new items are available at Sophia's online shop, which is always great. Um, so next we could do... I guess just this one, right? We don't have any other new ones that that have popped. So this reach the location mark with right. That's Sophie's challenge. So now we're getting these big ones, right? The big guns. 200 HP to one ally. And a bunch of new items as well. So that's probably what that last uh, request unlocked. Which is obviously going to be helpful in battle. Goat soup recipe, 40,000 for that recipe, by the way. That has got to be the most expensive thing I have bought in Sophia's shop. So for this one, I believe we had to get back all the way to... Interesting, I wonder if I even accepted the request. I did not. So it's Kyoto Jail. And the only problematic with this request, right? As opposed to some of the others is you do have to go through those portals and all that good stuff. I mean, thankfully, it is only one map with multiple checkpoints, but it's not gonna be easy getting there. And again, before I make the mistake of fast traveling to our destination, um, what I'm making sure of here is trying to locate that request. And from the looks of it, we need to head all the way to the southeastern part of this map. Um, which I believe 
is connected to a portal that's right behind or at least near the fox couple statue so either way we're still gonna have to explore jail from scratch right starting at the entrance and make our way from there and you know just to make sure one thing's clear we cannot increase security level so we do have to either defeat shadows um you know on route that we encounter or obviously slip past them All right, so there's some guards standing around over here. We do want to sort of, if possible, ambush them. Or do that. I'm basically trying to conserve my SP if possible. And uh, we will try to head northeast of here. So this should be the first portal we encounter, right? Or maybe not yet. Folks, we have a shadow on our hands. What's the plan? See if I can just strike this guy down or Excellent. do this. That was pretty easy. Um Okay. So very soon now we're actually going to be right right at you know almost the center where i believe that fox couple statue exists um and with this guy patrolling about we will have to take care of him and as pesky as they are One of Oracle's special support skills, this can nullify the damage from an attack that would KO a party member. So that's pretty cool. Final guard. So it's kind of like a second win before a possibility of death. So it's very good. And so this is the Fox Couple statue that I was referring to earlier. Now, my theory is, you know, Based on what I remember, if I were to go through this portal, we end up, where do we end up? We do end up very close to that, uh, that request icon, okay? So let's be a little careful, be on the lookout for shadows, and try to get there. And this is a lock three, no point in touching that. Hopefully there's no portal here. Nope. So we have reached the destination. So not too terrible. I just need to go over here and that's all. Simple as that. And since we're here, and by the way, this is that same place where we fought Akane, right? The monarch for this jail, where we had to fight the doppelgangers um, which was Joker himself. So now what we're trying to do is 
you know, head back to a checkpoint nearest to us. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't overdo it. All right, so we're going to mark this request as complete. The skill level can now be increased further for save cracker. So it must be that lock skill where we can increase that. And I think from a request standpoint, we're looking okay. We only have this one left and I've said, said it in the past. It's one of those, uh, you know, stronger versions of sh the name shadows that we need to defeat. So I'm not going to worry about this one just yet. So it'll have to hang tight. Um, and instead, we'll focus on getting back to the jail. Just double checking some of my party members. We'll stick with Morgana. Oops. Sophia and Ryuji. Saving before we head back in. Oh, and actually, before we do. There's one more thing I just realized. If you recall, when we arrived in Osaka, we did get a text from Ryuji. Um, so it might be worth our while to check in with him. Assuming he has some requests for us. So he actually just has an item for us. Flower. Yeah. Flower. Giving us flower was, you know, of the utmost importance as far as Ruji goes. Um. All right, so let's continue. Get to work. And I'm honestly hoping that, you know, we're at least close to the lock keeper. All right, let's go. And I say that every time. I feel like right before I'm supposedly about to fight a lock keeper, it's always something else that gets in the way. So hopefully no more puzzles, no more gimmicks. Although I don't really see a... Uh... Ah, there's our objective. So clearly a fight here. It's just a perfect setup for a fight. And of course it happens to be a boss that we've defeated just recently. At least this one, which is a Norn. So it's not the boss, but um, a very familiar persona, if you will.
physically, these shadows are pretty strong. I mean, if you're hoping to take them down by physical attacks alone, um, you're going to have a hard time, I think. And here's another Norn for our trouble. I like how Futaba just instantly tells you wind is ineffective as soon as you, you know, switch from Joker to Mona. I think it's pretty good AI right there. Or at least one example. Alright. Featherman show. Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? And there there it goes. When Mona says that, you know you're almost there. Alright, coast is clear. Let's make a break for the top. I'm kinda surprised how easy it was to get inside. A little quiet for a castle. That's not normal, is it? I don't think so. I've got a bad feeling about this. This is usually when everything goes wrong. Yeah, sounds like a trap. It's so pretty. But what is it doing? Uh, whatever it's doing, it can't be good. Intruders detected. Executing forced removal. Trap. We gotta bail! Wait, Skull! If you try to leave the circle, you'll get ripped apart. You gotta be shitting me! What? What happened? It seems we've been forcibly teleported somewhere. Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm warp sick. What? So we're locked up? Like getting caught's all we ever do anymore. We have to get out of here and quickly. Hey, just try to stay calm. In times like these, the best thing to do is to carefully check your surroundings. The door's open on the other side. I wonder if there's a way for us to get over there. All right, let's see if there is vents. No vents here. Pretty bad timing for a treasure chest, Ryuji. Can we jump somewhere? Yes, we can. There's that vent. Should I bother? There's that treasure chest Ryuji was telling us about. Hopefully it's not a lot level 3 and above. Vague file list. Which by the way, if you've missed that request where you have to deliver some junk parts to Ichinose for a request, that is what you need. The vague file lists. And looks like there's some shadows out here. Let's get the jump on them. Alright, these guys are obviously weak to wind. Or no, it's it it's actually a Raja Naga, it's not the regular Naga.
Alright, these are the regular ones. So there's more vents. Is there anything else in here? Can't use these doors. And I'm pretty sure that's the vent where we came from. There's a part partition glass here as well. Ah, which brings us to that same room, right? Um, Focus. And the problem here is you can't really ambush them right off the bat. Let's see if we can kind of do this. More of these guys. A bunch of these guys in here. And that's the glass. We actually need to go in the other room, so it looks like we need to head through here. No shadows in here. At least not yet, right? Seriously, alright. And of course, they're not particularly weak to anything. teammate took the hit. That was pretty close. Yeah, so we obviously cut it close with that last fight. Let's try to use up some of these trivial ones first. Alright, so we're, we seem to have escaped that jail. But at the end of the day, we're still inside a jail. Oh, okay. 
It's just boss fights all over the place. So these are the jerks that sprung the trap on us? I guess we should say thanks. Quit resisting and get stopped. Alright, let's stop. Alright, so for this fight, I do not care about SP uh you know savory. Like it's just time to straight up go crazy in here. Alright, let's see if I can use this thing. A lot of curse weaknesses here that you can exploit. In fact, curse itself brought a lot of these numbers down. They're very quick. All right, so Okay. So this is the strength of the human heart. Amazing. All clear. Huh. My. There. Okay, this one. And should I worry about SP? Well, let's move forward a little bit. Um since I hate to waste those could be a checkpoint coming up. I have no idea. Elevator. This elevator looks like it'll take us up, but we've got it on lockdown. There must be a mechanism to release it somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. All right. This must be the security room. Okay, so obviously this is a control panel which can only mean one thing, right? Probably another one of those crazy, like, you know, like 200 shadows in a small congested room situation. All right, let's do this. Oh goodness, these guys. All right, got to stay close to Futaba here. All right, Fortuna is a week to uh, Zeo, so you can start going crazy with uh, Ryuji or Skull. All right. And more of them here, and that's not going to do much here. And they're after Futaba, gotta get on that. Nice. Yeah, they just keep increasing by the numbers. Um, and this one's a Valkyrie, which means fire. is necessary okay we're obviously not done yet so this way you know each party member gets their time to shine Okay. 
And she is still only 76% done. Almost there, hopefully. Yeah, these unnamed shadows are not a big deal. Crazy. Craziness inside this congestion of a room. Ninety-nine percent, hundred percent done. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, these control panel runs never get old. I mean, hopefully, we're done with these fights. Getting kind of crazy. We should be able to ride all the way up to the top like this. Maybe we can even rest before we get there. Oh, I guess that would have been a little too easy. Come on, let's greet our guests. Oh, okay. Well, it's a gauntlet. Plenty of Nagas around, so... I don't know what this countdown's for. I hope it doesn't mean we need to defeat all of them within that time frame. I hope it means just basically survive. Alright, oops, there's a few more that spawned, but uh... Alright, get this mask. Alright, so at this point I can guarantee that once we hit this next objective, it's probably going to be another boss fight. Like, let's be real. There's these teletransport drones set up and plenty of space. Right, in this room, in this area. So let's go ahead and heal up. With what we have. And a lot of these SP accessories that we have, they kind of do a lot more than just heal. They kind of buff up the team, which is very good. So let's go ahead. Oh, is it? Thor again? Yes it is. It's Thor. Alright, the Thunder Emperor once again. 
Well, we know this guy is also weak to wind. So we can leverage Mona as well. And he hits pretty hard as you can see. So we'll take this chance and uh, focus on uh, buffs and not hopefully die, right? Alright, let's use these things. Nope. Not doing much. So you can kind of mess up his tactics and kind of do a couple interrupts um, in between by using those things. Which is roughly the same thing as technicals. And we're almost out of SP there, at least for Joker. There you go. Alright, so close to 50% HP. I believe he's gotten Ryuji twice with that. What is that, Rage? There you go. Almost there. There we go. Alright, I certainly hope that's... That's it. Garudine, obviously we need that. Which deals heavy damage. Um... Alright, so I certainly hope it's not another map that we have to traverse because that would be pretty crazy and pretty drawn out, I think, for this jail. Is he not the mastermind behind all this? I don't know. Kanoe 
was supposed to be the one who created the gems. So he would have to know how they work. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. In which case, the only explanation is that he's trapped himself here with trauma of his own. Why would he do something like that? When it could be necessary to creating a jail. Does that mean Kanoe's got some dark past too? A guy that confident? I don't know. Doesn't really fit his image if you ask me. So what's the plan then? You said we need a key if we want to open this thing, right? That's correct. And we can get a hint as to its whereabouts by touching the birdcage. It's always Skull. It is always Skull. Oh, man. Again? No, let me do it. I could use the experience. Good luck. Make sure you don't let go right away. Don't go crying on us, Gramps. Huh? To that wolf howl. I've heard stories of cries that could shake the heavens. Could this be one of them? It's almost operatic. You guys don't even know, man. That shit seriously hurts. Quiet! I hear something. <laughs> Abuse? Please, that's ridiculous. We do have a dog. Maybe that's what they heard? Right, Akira? Hey. Whose voice is that? Doesn't seem to be Kanoe's. But he said Akira. Isn't that Kanoe's first name? Whether it was your dog or not, Kanoe-san, we got a tip that you've been physically abusing your son. Apparently, Akira-kun has a scar on his arm to prove it. <sighs> Look, he fell over. How many times do I have to say it? Are we done here? I'd like to be left alone. So clearly he was abused and that's his backstory. And so that's why he has this form of justice as a superhero, which kind of makes sense. And of course, you know, pretty much all monarchs, you know, have shown that they've had it hard in the past, so. Nothing changes the fact that Akira Kanoe is an incredibly dangerous man who changes others' hearts and robs them of their free will. Great. We gotta stop him. So if being abused is the source of his trauma, what exactly is his plan here? Just gonna have to ask him about it. Up close and personal. Yeah, but first, we need the key to the birdcage. Let's head back to the real world and try to find the source of that voice. Hey, Joker. Was Kanoe really treated badly by his own father? Senkichi and Akane were on bad terms. But nothing like that ever happened between them. Why did that happen to Kanoe? Aren't they family? So some humans are just like that then. Joker? Do you think family is important? I do too. If I ever get family or friends, I want to support them as much as I can. I learned that from the Phantom Thieves. I wonder how Kanoe must have felt back then. Hey, come on you two, let's get going! Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go, Joker. Pretty good progress as always on uh, the Sophia side. She's clearly grown as an AI, as well as a phantom thief. And that's clear by now. Hey. Mm. 
There you go, the next part is the Warden, which is a Lockkeeper. So, let's see, do we have any new requests? We do not. Oh, okay, the next part is literally going to the destination. Um. And you know, typically during times like these, I tend to stock up on whatever I can find. But of course, you know, I'm far from where I was before when we first started doing the stream with Persona 5 Strikers. Um, where with a lot of the initial fights, especially the boss fights, on normal mode, which is what we're playing. Um, honestly, it was pretty brutal. And uh, max number held. Seriously? So I have 99 medicine. That's a pretty high number. But yeah, you know, we've we've gotten better. Um from a battle perspective, uh where before we were probably using you know as many HP and SP items as we were using skills, which is obviously not good, right? So that says something. Um And these right here, the Soulful Jellies. I I feel like the only time I've used it in this playthrough, um, you know, is during those requests. I mean, a lot of this is vital in boss fights, but a lot of these things you tend to forget about, at least I do. Um, and, you know, considering we are near endgame here, um, Probably a good idea to stock up on some of these ingredients too. We can cook up additional things. There was also another recipe that we bought earlier in this episode, which cost about what was it, 40 grand yen, if not more than that. But um, and of course, we're doing pretty good on the money game as well. Almost at the end of our grocery shopping experience here at a Sophia's online shop. Go ahead and sell some items too. But so pretty good when I mean, we're still sitting at 424,000 yen. And that too without doing any sort of grinding at this point. Um, you know, just buying and selling. Which is... Pretty good, I think. And uh, let's see, what was that new thing that we learned? Was it this right here, goat soup? Um, we can make as many as nine, which is really good. Noxious odor. It seemed all right for as much as it was it was worth it just seemed all right is that how it is go back down here focus on the SP ones before we run out of those ingredients So we seem to have hit the cap there, um, and probably a good idea to head back to the Velvet Room too, right? 
Um, it's been a while since I went back in, looked at Persona, Executions, um, although I don't see much of what we can do here as far as new ones. Like this one requires us to be minimum level 55, right? Otherwise we cannot I do not believe you can make this uh, Nebiros. And that's something we'll probably get to eventually as well. We're off by a level. Um, is there anything we can fuse? Which we don't already... Hmm, interesting. So let's focus on some of these, shall we? Valkyrie... So these are some new ones that we've picked up recently. That's a good bit of Persona points. I would I would not probably take it that far. Um, How much power will you add? Let's see some of these on our Sen. The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. And I've stuck to our Sen, you know, since the beginning of the game. Still has a good bit of grinding to do. Um, I do like this one, particularly because, as you can see from, you know, the number of skills here, um, it's a good bit. We have nuke damage, we have bless damage, we have curse damage, and fire damage. So maybe we can focus a little bit here as well. This one's a heavy, so we can certainly override this one. Queen Mob is also a great one that I oftentimes rely on. Okay. And of course Agidine and Bufudine, which are heavy skills as well. And we'll give the rest of Valkyrie. Actually, we will not. I'll save it. I doubt I'll be using Valkyrie in the long run, considering those physical skills. So we'll register these. Can I do anything here now? Yes, I can. And uh, giving up two of our best Persona here. We can make this guy. Pretty big deal. Level 52. Kurama Tengu. Choose which skill. And uh, clearly, I do wish to maintain some of these, you know, heavy skills. Like you have Agidine, Bufudine, Rhydine, and... We can take at least a... I'll take Curse over Bless. Now, let us begin. I feel like that's more of a commonality than the latter. When it comes to being a weakness to Shadows. All right, and then there's another one we can make as well. Hecaton to raise. This is the tree one, right? No, this is that multiple arms one. And of course, it's very familiar from Persona. So, we'll go ahead and create this guy as well. We'll stick with at least one healing skill we'll pick up this guy here for another buff and again I'm not a fan of these HP usages um, so take this one and another buff as well and thankfully that did not cause a dent to our wallet and this one's going to be a fusion accident. I cannot progress 
the cutscene. So it's going to be a fusion accident, which is the second time this has happened to us uh, in this game. Or in this playthrough, rather. Which is very good, right? Because it's going to receive a huge stat increase compared to its peers. I um, mean, Uzume, right? We've seen this before. There's nothing new. But as far as uh, stat increases go, we'll go ahead and take it. And there's nothing else new that we can create at this point, so definitely something we'll come back to. Especially during the end game, right? Where we need to hunt down a bunch of trophies. Which should not be too long from now. May luck be on your side. And that is actually the end of today's episode. Um, so next time what we'll do is we'll make another sort of round trip around town. Right? Just run through Osaka. And see if we can talk to a bunch of our teammates, the Phantom Thieves. See if there's any free items that they can give us um kind of like what ryuji did in this episode and then um you know after that we'll also go around to each of the different shops in the city um so we can pick up a bunch of hp and sp recovery items right you can never have too much of those i think um and after that yeah i mean we'll head back into osaka jail and all that we have left to do um, there is to fight the lockkeeper and then directly jump to Konoe. So good things coming up, um, but as always, thanks for tuning in to today's stream and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>